Hey YouTube, this is Rob the Nuts one here, and I'm here to review Arrow. Uh, so in this episode, basically, um, the Arrow team basically go back to Nada Pabat, where, where the team are basically trying to save Oliver from becoming Ra's al Ghul. Um, it's also revealed that Oliver Queen is playing Ra's al Ghul, um, in the hopes that he can defeat, um, defeat Ra's from inside, from within his own organisation. Um, he is forced to marry, um, Nyssa, which happens in the end of this episode. Um, in the flashbacks we get the revelation of what the of what the um alpha I mean omega device actually does and it's revealed to um to be, you know to be a some kind of virus which um savagely kills um many people from Hong Kong including Katana's and I including Katana's son. Um, so yeah, that's basically the overall of the gist of what happened in this episode. Um, now, I enjoyed the episode, but there are a lot of problems in this episode. For example, I don't like the fact that they backed out of the fact that Oliver Queen wasn't brainwashed. Um, I think it was interesting in the direction they went um, to sort of put Oliver in the position of becoming a villain um, and becoming this Ra's al Ghul-esque character. I think that could have been really, really interesting. Um, but they backed out at the last second. You know, they, they, they backed out of having that as a character arc. And I just don't like, and I just don't like it. I th th this show is better than how it's been this season. And I think the writing could have been a lot better. Sorry, my eyes a bit wonky. Um, so yeah, I I didn't enjoy that aspect. Um, I think it, and, and also, I do think it was kind of predictable, the fact that Oliver Queen is playing Ra's al Ghul, um, and is willing to sacrifice we know that Oliver Queen is willing to do whatever it takes to take someone down. Um, but I just think it's very, very strange that Oliver Queen is doing it the way he's doing it. Um, also we get Katana's um, full costume. Now, I actually kind of don't like the costume. The costume looks very weird to look at, and it kind of looks like um, someone's cosplaying the character. I know that seems a little bit mean, and there are some amazing cosplayers out there. It's just, this show is fully budgeted. They could surely afford a better costume than the look that they're doing. And also most recently, um, another katana that's going to be appearing in Suicide Squad um, appeared as well, and it looks really, really strange to look at. So I do kind of think that maybe Katana might not be necessarily an accessible character um, for the on-screen 
appearance. Um, but I honestly didn't dig the costume. I thought the costume was a bit meh. Um, and very much like a cosplay type of costume. I think maybe it's because I'm not used to it and I don't follow any of, of Katana's storylines. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, I do like the fact that Katana is in the show. I just, I don't care much for the costume. Um, Ray Palmer again appears in the episode. Um, Ray Palmer must spend an awful lot of time attending to his suit. Because that suit is not very good at being used. Half the time it gets damaged no matter what he's doing. Um, and I don't know, I, I just, I really resist Ray Palmer being in this show. Um, I don't think there seems to be any point now to Ray Palmer's character. He certainly hasn't exactly been, um, that great of a character. Um, finally, I have to talk about, um, the fact that, um, Roy Harper has been kind of written out of the show. Basically, um, when Colton Haynes, um, sort of left the show, um, it was due to the fact that, um, Colton Haynes hadn't, um, contract had ended. Why aren't they not getting this actor to sign on for more seasons? And this just speaks to how this show has lost its focus. Red Arrow Arsenal is a major part of the Green Arrow mythology. Um, because Ray Harper, because Roy Harper, sorry, um, is, is the sidekick of Green Arrow. He's a very important character. I do think they should have added um, the the Cheshire storyline, which is a huge missed opportunity um, to not have Cheshire appear in you know for his character. Also, I think they're underusing Colton Haynes as an actor. Um, I will have to, I will admit. I'm not sure about the actor, um, because of his, because, I don't know, he has this sort of rough appearance to him, but he is good in the role, and I do think, it's, and I do think Arrow is, is missing the whole point of the character, and why he's so important to Green Arrow. Um, I thought it was Interesting in the fact that they um, called him Jason, as in Jason Todd. So, so I like the sort of the Outlaws reference um, that that appeared in this ep in this episode. Um, also, it's implied that he may have um, given Mia the opportunity to become the next sidekick, become the Mia Dearden the Mia Dearden character. And um, all in all guys, there are so many missed opportunities and so many just sheer problems with this season and with this and the writing. Like cause because the stunt work and the and the action stuff is all very good. Um, apart from I didn't think the action was that great in this episode. But the action and the, you know, and I see what they're trying to 
do. It's just the writing's not there, the characters aren't developed. And there are just so many problems with, with this season. And um, that what was supposed to be a very, very good season, because Ra's al Ghul is an amazing character, has just become a lackluster season and does not rival what season 2 had created. So I am hoping that when the show goes on its break that they, that they really plan out season 4. That they really, um, that they do really make the show have a focus. I know that we are getting a new showrunner for the next Arrow ep you know, season. So I'm hoping that that showrunner knows what she's doing or knows what they're doing and they can bring us a more focused show, you know, with better storylines and just better plots. Um, I'm Robin Axe One here, guys, and I shall see you all very soon for a review of some kind. Bye.